All right, you can see this window has a lot of dust and grime on it. The challenge of this window, it's up on the first floor. And as you can see, normally to clean these windows, you have to get out on the roof, which is really dangerous. So it's not something I can do all year round because during the winter, it can be slippery and wet and I have a risk of falling off the roof. You can see this side here, it's really dusty and dirty. So we're gonna to demonstrate today the new Hobot 388 window cleaner with ultrasonic sprayer and let's see how it performs cleaning this window. Welcome to Robot My Life. Today, we'll be demonstrating the Hobot 388 robotic window cleaner. This particular robot window cleaner has a fantastic sleek design. Not only that, it has an inbuilt ultrasonic sprayer which sprays a very fine mist on the window to enable better cleaning. One thing I particularly like about the new Hobots is the power connector. A lot of the cheap robotic window cleaners will have a power connector that will often fall out. And this is problematic because if you're doing something else, distracted, it falls out, your uninterrupted power supply only has around 20 minutes battery. When that runs out, guess what? Your robotic window cleaner falls off the window, which is massively problematic when you're up on a first story and there's a risk of it coming off and actually injuring someone below, or if you're in an apartment. So the difference with the Hobot, you screw down and it has a retention device, and that is not gonna come out. If we flip over our Hobot 388, you'll notice it has two cleaning discs. Now, it has two microfiber pads that will scrub your window, and underneath that, the unit has an inbuilt vacuum to do two things. To suck the dust off your window, and to make sure it stays connected to the window at all times. Over here, you'll notice that I have my Hobot window cleaning solution. This particular solution has been carefully manufactured to ensure it works optimally with the ultrasonic sprayer. Now, like any robotic window cleaner, it's always recommended that the first pass be dry, then the second you would use with any sort of spray solution. So let's get into a demonstration of how your Hobot 388 cleans the window. So I have my Hobot 388, I place it on the window. From here, I will turn the unit on. And we can see here it's connected to the window. I'm going to turn off the ultrasonic sprayer and all I'm going to do is press play and away it goes. The Herbot 388 has done a quick dust the window. Now we just grab our device, we turn it off. And now it's time to transition it to the outside of the window to do the same thing, a quick dust before we clean it with the ultrasonic sprayer. Make sure you pass enough cable outside. The last thing you want is your Herbot getting stuck. Plenty of cable there. Again, I'm turning off the ultrasonic spray. And we just press play and it should, away it goes.
The thread is finished now cleaning the outside of the window, doing that light dusting. We're now going to transfer it. I thought I'd quickly zoom in. We haven't used the ultrasonic sprayer yet with the 388, but look at the right window that has not been cleaned compared to the middle window that's only been cleaned with the dusting aspect of 388. It's amazing. It's removed probably about 90% of the dirt and grime. So now we've cleaned the outside and the inside with the Hobot 388, removed the dust. It's really amazing. It's amazing to see the comparison between the two windows already. It's really removed probably around 90% of the dust already. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the Hobot 388 on the window. I'm gonna turn it on. And now the ultrasonic sprayer will be working in conjunction with the cleaning pads. You just press play and away it goes. Now we complete the inside with the ultrasonic sprayer. We're going to turn the unit off. And we're going to switch it to the outside of the window and do exactly the same with the ultrasonic sprayer, which hopefully should do the final scrub of the window. So there you have it, the Hobot 388. And look, what a fantastic job. A great comparison because this window here has not been cleaned and this one has by the Hobot 388. Now, like any robotic window cleaner, if you've had dead insects, bird poo, has been kind of baked on by the sun, you probably really want to scrub that off by hand before allowing your robotic window cleaner to clean the windows. I really look at a robotic window cleaner. Something that can keep your windows in a pristine condition all the time. But what I'm super impressed by is the amount of dirt this removes and how clean it's made the window. For me, these windows here have always been problematic because it's on the first floor. Um, outside here, there's quite a drop. So I have to use a ladder, I have to scrub, and it really puts myself at risk. This removes all the risk it can clean for me. Now, if you'd ask me, what would I buy out of the 388 and 298? What's the difference? Well, I personally think that the 298 is better at cleaning. It gets in the corners better, and I personally like how I can change the pads very quickly on the 298. Whereas this device here, I can change the discs and pads, but it is not as easy or as quick as the 298. But in saying that, this device here, the 388, can also get into small areas where the 298 can't, 
We've got some small windows in the house. This could clean really well. Now you may or may not know that both the 298 and the 388 are very capable of cleaning tiles, splashbacks, and also frameless showers. So they're really such a multitasking device. But realistically, they're both great devices. I think having the ultrasonic sprayer makes a massive difference. And I think it's an absolute great innovation from Hobot. So there you have it. That is how the 388 cleans a window.